Before we embed a Power BI report on a SharePoint page, we need to go to Power BI. So if you're not already there, go to app.powerbi.com and go ahead and navigate to the report you'd like to embed in SharePoint. In this case, I've chosen this Operations Analytics report, and I'm specifically on this Operations Analytics page of this multi-page report. So just keep in mind that as we're doing this, I want this specific page to be the one that's embedded on my SharePoint page. So from here, we're gonna copy that URL at the top of your browser and go back to SharePoint. Now I've already navigated to the page where I'm going to embed this. So if you haven't already found that page, go ahead and create the page or find the one that you're going to add the report to. Then when you're ready, go ahead and click edit on that page. Find the spot on the page where you wanna add that web part. So I'm just gonna choose this plus sign right at the bottom here and search for the Power BI web part. Once you found that, go ahead and select it. And then your panel should either open automatically. If it doesn't, click on Add Report and paste that report link right there. Now what you're gonna notice is that if you do have a multi-page report, it's only gonna show you the, the page that you were on when you copied the URL, Report Section 3. So if you wanna see your other pages as options, just take out that Report Section 3 from the URL and then I usually cut and paste that URL just to kind of reset the web part and get those page names back. There we go. And now we can choose from specifically operations analytics, location, or website. Now in this case, I do want to show that operations analytics, but I could easily switch and show a different page if I wanted to. Now we're not quite finished yet. We got our link in there and we have the ability now to switch pages easily. Uh, but you may also want to change your display instead of a 16 to 9 ratio, maybe 4 to 3. And then also be aware that it comes with a lot of extra bells and whistles where, for example, we can see the navigation pane to the other pages here. So if I don't want users going back and forth between operations and website, perhaps, I might turn that off. And that way they're only seeing operations analytics here. And I may also not want them to feel encouraged to share this specifically uh, or chat about it in Teams or any of these other options, favoriting it, having a conversation about it, exporting. So you can also turn off that action bar at the top. And this is the cleanest look. So if you just want to put the report on the page and give it the most real estate possible, just turn off all those extra features there and just show that one page of that multi-page report. Okay, now one thing that was already off here was the filter pane, and that would be if you built your report with the filter pane that you want users to be able to use and manipulate. Now notice I don't have any here, uh, but if I switch over to my website analytics page, that one does have filters that my users can use in the filters pane. All right, so just a quick recap here. Add a web part to your page, paste the URL to your Power BI report, and maybe take off that last bit if you have multiple pages. Choose the specific page name of the report you want to show. Choose which features to add below or which ones to remove if they're already selected. And when you're finished, go ahead and republish your page. Right. And now, in addition to all the other content on my page, maybe some quick links, maybe some text that describes the report, I've got my report that's fully interactive, just as if it were in Power BI itself. And down below, I've got my comment feature that came with my SharePoint page. And that's how you embed a Power BI report on a SharePoint page.